This video is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Are you planning a trip to Southern California and want to stay at a family-friendly resort in an amazing location? Then check out Hyatt Regency Huntington Beach. Not only can you enjoy the beach and soak up this town's deep-rooted surf culture, but you'll be a short 30-minute drive away from Disneyland, too. In this video, I'll cover the accommodations, the pools, the beach, the dining, the activities, so keep watching. Many thanks to Hyatt Regency Huntington Beach for hosting us. Hey, welcome back to Top Flight Family. My name is Carmen Signovi, and I'm so excited to tell you all about our stay at Hyatt Regency Huntington Beach in California. We flew on JetBlue out of JFK. On the way to LAX, we flew in the even more space seats, which is basically JetBlue's version of premium economy. But on the way back, we splurged a little and we tried out the brand new Mint Studio Suites. These private suites currently offer the most space and a premium experience from any US airline. We did a whole in-depth review about it, so if you haven't watched that video yet, I'll link it below. Baby, you wanna with the boy for the one time? Okay, maybe one time. Roll it up and hit it for me one time. Cruise around the city, duck it one time. Show they wanna whip with the boy in a free time. Make a little weak time. I ain't worried, baby, we gon' be fine. Riding like we never heard a street sign. Show they wanna... <laughs> Hi. <laughs> this was a hell of a score, Serge. Thank you. Let's let's talk about this car rental Look deal. Yeah. So I got a car rental deal online for this BMW X7. It was for four nights, four days, uh, two hundred and thirty-two dollars. How? I, I thought there was a car rental shortage. I know the guy. One of those guys. The people are renting U-Hauls. No U-Hauls this trip, baby. <laughs> It's about 36 miles to drive from LAX to Huntington Beach. If you prefer a shorter drive, you can fly into either John Wayne Airport, which is just 10 miles away, or Long Beach Airport, which is about 15 miles away. Okay, very nice. Unless this is you and Daddy's bed. No, this is yours. Ooh, this huge chair. You guys could both fit on this thing. Let's see. Girl, take off your bag. What are you doing? Dad, you eat all of it. <laughs> Giant chair. Hi. Ooh, the pillow. See the pool from here. Nice. We stayed in adjoining rooms which had recently been renovated. We loved the beachy aesthetics of the rooms, there were pops of yellow, and there was really cool vintage surf artwork. Something about you gives me hope. Something about you, yeah. There are two main pool areas at the property. There's the main family pool, which has cabanas and a poolside bar and restaurant. There's also a separate area called Sliders, which has water slides and other fun water features that work both for toddlers as well as bigger kids like Sean and Ella. After we got settled into our cabana, it was time to hit the slides. In case you're wondering, these cute mermaid rash guard swimsuits are from Amazon. They have built-in sun protection, which is really cool. I'll link them down below. By the way, if you're new to this channel, we're the Sinyovi family. There's me, Carmen, my husband Serge, and our daughters, Sean and Ella. We work full-time as travel creators, and we're all about inspiring families to explore the world together in comfort and style. We share tips on how you can save time, reduce hassle, and maximize comfort when you travel with kids. If that sounds good to you, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next video. Our family has set a goal of visiting 21 resorts in 2021, and Hyatt Regency Huntington Beach is the ninth one we've visited so far. Why resorts? Well, we actually have a whole video that explains that, which I'll link below. I'll also link to our 21 resorts and 2021 playlist so you can check out all the other properties we'll be visiting. Look what Sean made! Mommy. The Hyatt Regency Huntington Beach is located right across the street from Ten Mile Beach, and it's close to the Huntington Beach Pier. 
The street is actually a stretch of the famous Pacific Coast Highway, but the property has a dedicated walkway so that guests can cross safely. The weather was still a bit cool when we went, so we weren't quite ready to try out surfing lessons, but we loved walking around the beach and watching the incredible waves come in. We took a day during this trip to drive to Los Angeles to meet with some friends. It took us less than an hour to get to Venice, where we had brunch with my friend Michelle and her husband Lance. If you're an OG viewer, you may remember a video I made back in May of 2020 with tips for travel creators who want to get on TikTok. One of the creators I interviewed was Michelle Gonzalez of LAX to Luxury. Since that interview, we've become friends and we even co-wrote a whole white paper together called TikTok for Travel Brands. If you want, you can download a free copy. I'll link it below. But this was our very first time meeting in real life. By the way, for the longest time, Sean and Ella would just refer to Michelle as the pretty lady from TikTok. So they were especially excited to meet her. We ate at the Rose Venice, which is a boho chic restaurant that's a favorite brunch spot in this neighborhood. Serge had the Korean styled fried chicken sandwich, which was really good. And I took Michelle's lead in ordering the Cacio y Pepe, which is actually an off-menu item, and it was just as good as she said it was going to be. After brunch, we went to meet another travel friend. If you watched our Moon Palace Jamaica video, you may remember that we ran into a really sweet girl named Isabel who recognized us from TikTok, and the girls all ended up spending that whole trip playing together. Since Jamaica, Isabel and Sean have kept in touch, and when she heard that we were coming to LA, Isabel invited us to her house. I didn't shoot anything here to preserve her privacy, but we spent a lovely afternoon with Isabel, her brother, and her dad. Man, the quality of life is just different in LA. <laughs> Every time we go there, we're like, why do we live in New York again? That Southern California sunshine just relaxes me instantly. One of our favorite experiences at Hyatt Huntington Beach was making s'mores at the beach while we watched the sunset. The property has its own section on the beach for this. The attendant builds the fire for you, and you get everything you need for a beautiful evening on the beach. Hot chocolate, blankets, and of course, the marshmallows, chocolate, and graham crackers. Listening to the crackling flames, smelling the briny ocean, having sand between our toes, and feeling the warmth of the fire as the evening chill set in, it was such a unique combination of sensations. Now, when we travel, we often have to rely on public Wi-Fi networks. But anytime you're on public Wi-Fi, there's a risk that hackers can get to your passwords, financial details, or even your emails. One thing that brings me peace of mind is knowing that all our devices are protected by ExpressVPN. With a single subscription, you can connect up to five devices at the same time, which makes it perfect for families. ExpressVPN encrypts your internet connection using the highest standards of encryption currently available. It would take a hacker with a supercomputer billions of years to crack. We've been using ExpressVPN for years now, and I always recommend it to everyone. Go to expressvpn.com slash topflightfamily and find out how you can get three months free. Okay, let's talk about the dining at Hyatt Regency Huntington Beach. The signature restaurant is Water Table, and you should definitely make it a priority to have dinner here at least one night because the food is fantastic. The decor is really gorgeous with a rustic farmhouse vibe. The restaurant gets its name from this literal water table in the middle of the restaurant, which is actually what the servers use to fill up on water for the tables. Surge started with the stone fruit salad, which was made of duck prosciutto, arugula, baby tomatoes, olive tapenade, Greek yogurt, almonds, and orange blossom honey. And I started with the asparagus salad, which had shaved asparagus, arugula, shaved radish, burrata, egg yolk, and lemon oil. I had the petite filet, and Serge had the Chilean sea bass, which was amazing. The restaurant has a great wine list, and the cocktails are also really fresh and inventive. The Hyatt Regency Huntington Beach has a nice little plaza with a variety of stores and restaurants. Pete's Sunset Grill is a casual restaurant with surf cuisine like fish tacos. 
Tower 15 Pizzeria is a pizza joint. Surf City Grocers is a mini market where you can get to-go foods like coffee and sandwiches. And of course, there's a full menu available through room service. Good morning. We're having a little room service breakfast today. This is Ella's very high-tech video game. I definitely had one of these when I was a kid. Now, Hyatt Regency Huntington Beach is not an all-inclusive property, so how much you spend on food will, of course, vary depending on exactly what types of dishes and drinks you order and the size of your party. If you'd like to estimate food costs before you go, all the restaurant menus are available online. Pricing for this resort can vary a lot depending on what type of accommodations you're booking, how many people there are in your party, and what time of year you're going. So I always recommend that you start your planning process by going directly to the resort's website and plugging in some dates to see what the price ranges are looking like. You can either book directly with the property, or if there's a travel advisor or travel agent you already work with, they can help too. California fully reopened on June 15th, just a few days before we arrived at Huntington Beach. There weren't any required capacity limits, no more physical distancing, and much looser mask mandates. 60% of California residents are now fully vaccinated. The staff at the resort still mostly wore masks, but guests didn't need to. Unfortunately, in the months since the state reopened, there's been a surge of COVID cases in California, largely due to the new Delta variant. In LA County, 99% of new cases involve those who have not been vaccinated. The state hasn't walked back its reopening efforts yet, though Los Angeles itself is now encouraging even vaccinated people to go back to wearing masks to be on the safe side. All that to say, if you're planning to visit this resort soon, I would call ahead to check and see if there are any COVID-related restrictions, because things may be different than when we stayed there. Okay, that was resort number nine of the 21 resorts we're visiting in 2021. If you'd like to check out resort number 10, just click that video right there. If you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications and follow us on TikTok and Instagram at Top Flight Family. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.